interquartile range. So if you want to cut a log into four pieces, how many cuts do you make? So interquartile range involves splitting the data into quarters. So another way we can write interquartile range is IQR, because they're the initials for it. So let's look at a data set. One, one, three, five, eight, eight, 10, 14, 18, and 20. So the first step is to find the middle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten scores, which means there's going to be five on each side, so we can split it there, and that's going to be the middle. Now we need the middles of each half. So here, that's in the middle of that half, and that's in the middle of that half. And now we've successfully cut the data into four pieces. So you can see, imagine a line going through here and a line going through here, and we've got the first quarter, second quarter, the third quarter, and the fourth quarter. So it only requires three cuts to cut a log into four pieces, not four cuts. Then we call, we call the middle of our first half Q1, or the lower quartile, and we call the middle of our second half Q3, the upper quartile. Q2 is the median in the middle. To get the interquartile range, you just have to do Q3 minus Q1. In this case, Q3 was 14, Q1 is 3, and 14 minus 3 is 11. We're going to add one score and see what happens. 1, 1, 3, 5, 8, 8, 10, 14, 18, 20, and we're going to add on 21. Now, we've got, we should have 11 scores here because we added on one extra one. And this time, there's going to be one score left in the middle, which is going to be this one. Because now we have five scores on this side and five scores on this side. And that's the only change that happens. We actually have a score in the middle this time. And now we just need the middles of each end. So the middle of this, the lower end is this one. And the middle of the higher end is this one. So that's our Q1. That's our Q2. That's our Q3. And if we want the interquartile range, that's just going to be Q3 minus Q1, where we're going to get 18 minus 3, which will give us 15.